Hi, Pearl. Uh, Hi. Can you start with introducing yourself? Tell us who you are and what you've done. So I'm Pearl. Um, I've been um, operating in the internet uh, digital ecosystem mm -hmm. uh, for the last 13 years. Mm -hmm. um, my first um, eight years were spent at uh, in large internet consumer internet companies like Yahoo and Rediff. Um, I um, ran the advertising business for Yahoo as, as my last corporate assignment, after which I um, went entrepreneurial, um, mm -hmm. went and founded, um, co-founded a company called FashionInU.com, and that was a stage at which um, there was no fashion e-commerce in India, so had the opportunity to change consumer behavior um, in getting lifestyle e-commerce launched mm -hmm. in India and uh, scaled the brand. Uh, um, um, uh, you know, uh, spent three years in doing that and then um, decided to move from that and move to a third realm of the same ecosystem, which is investing. And uh, I partnered recently with my husband and we uh, launched uh, a brand called Five Ideas mm -hmm. uh, in India um, in 1st of October. And uh, in under that, we've launched a, a angel stage fund um, uh, called Startup Superfuel. Um, and uh, we have another initiative, Founders in Heels, uh, which is a not-for-profit initiative. The first one is um, uh, um, um, purely venture funding of uh, seed stage companies. Right. And um, um, so uh, we, we saw a gap in the ecosystem, um, and we, we believe that with our operating experience, both Gaurav and I have had experience across platform companies. Um, mm -hmm offline and online mm -hmm. and then we um, founded internet companies and um, with, the, with the, these experiences we believed we could actually add up what we learned to do and not to do in the last 13 plus years combined between the two of us 26 years now and we codified our learnings discussed and we said let's let's build a investment model mm -hmm. which brings a uh, good blend, optimum blend, which is what we call the super fuel, mm -hmm. optimum blend of human capital, financial capital, and social capital, because we believe at an early stage, uh, it is more about the venture mm -hmm. than the capital. Right. And there are lots of other things that need to fall in place. Mm -hmm. uh, besides, obviously, nothing can beat the entrepreneur's own energy and talent right. uh, and resilience, but there are lots of other things which can fall in place to either accelerate the success mm -hmm. or fundamentally help alter the probability of it. Right. So that's how Five Ideas came about. And we're now meeting up with startups. It's, this is our second month closing of meeting up with startups. Uh, met about 90 plus startups in the last two months. And wow. um, yeah, it's been a hectic time, but this is our time which we are investing to first understand what all is happening in different spaces in India, whether it's SaaS, whether it's uh, um, mobile, whether it is consumer internet in the form of e-commerce, um, ad tech. Uh, so these are different spaces and we're looking at companies right now and uh, expect to start the uh, actual investment in January 2030. Awesome. So that's, that's uh, what, awesome. what I've done and what I'm doing now. Yeah. So you, you said you met about 90 startups in two months. Yeah. Now, uh, what, what is Telephonic it in? and in-person yeah. and the combination, yeah. How do you rate the quality of startups happening in India? So, um, the, the quality is uh, from, you know, two perspectives, the way we look at it. Um, one is the quality of the individuals mm -hmm. and the quality of the ideation, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and the second part is um, the quality of business planning or uh, strategic thinking or market making thinking. Correct. In the former I've seen, um, you know, the, the talent is quite good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, from where it was three to five years back versus mm -hmm. what it is now, um, we're seeing, um, at least I, I'm very pleasantly surprised in seeing the qu kind of people stepping into entrepreneurship. One, uh, starting up is less expensive today because yep. of everything that's getting democratized, whether it's hardware, software, or the distribution. <laughs> yes. um, and everyone's talking about it as a trend. So starting up it, it is easier. Mm -hmm. The availability of capital at early stage is, I won't say it's, it's like the developed markets, but it is becoming more accessible. Mm -hmm. Many more players in the market, and VCs are not the only op option 
to go to. So the early stage, the seed stage and pre-seed stages, you know, the GSF accelerator is a pre-seed stage kind of uh, effort, for example. Uh, And so those two stages, pre-seed and seed, are seeing a lot of activity. So capital is there. Companies like Google, Microsoft, um, Yahoo's, uh, Facebook, uh, their R&D centers in India have given exposure to Indian talent of managing global products, mm-hmm. rollouts, product right. management per se, which was a key gap in the, you know, Indian Indian business entrepreneurs always had a good business sense, but the product ecosystem was not strong. And it's, it's I believe it's the blend of a distribution mind and a design mind, mm-hmm. you know, a tech mind. This is, it's that blend which creates um, amazing brands and companies, whether in the B2B space or B2B C space. So from a talent perspective, I'm f- we're finding that people with three to five years product management tech experience in these global companies are mm-hmm. a great pool that is now entering. Mm-hmm. Um, entrepreneurship is no longer considered a space of the loony. It's mm-hmm. considered something logical. It's starting to get more acceptable by the society, mm-hmm. families. Mm-hmm. And you know, in India, anything that's not acceptable by society is not something most people will do. Correct. So that's something that I'm seeing changing. A lot of uh, uh, people I know who've worked in corporates are stepping into that. A lot of people who've never worked in corporates from college now starting up at IITs is becoming a cool thing to do. Mm-hmm. So these are very various elements of the talent side is shaping up interesting now it's it's coming out nicely i think in the next two three years some global companies cu- couple of global companies big news stories will get delivered right. and i really don't care about the big hits the question is will a good blend of tech and distribution talent design mm-hmm. and distribution talent may make lots of companies happen rather than those you know one facebook coming Got out it. of india that's yeah. not what will make the yes. ecosystem so that's happening what I find is that the uh, ability to think scale and uh, business strategy, that's where a lot more deeper planning has to go. I mean, there, is, there are two schools of thought. Uh, one school is the VC school, which is now so branded as, you know, they go too much into data and all of that. But then the other school says it's all gut. I, I think it's, it's not all gut and it's not all science. But, but at, even at early stage, um, if you're building, for example, an e-commerce company, and you and you come come to, come to me and say that in three years we'll be at about 10 crores or 15 crores of revenue, mm-hmm. you know, I'm 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 starting to think that is the market that you're in not. In interesting enough or big enough mm-hmm. or is it like you're not thinking scale mm-hmm. and more often than not I mean see when the market sp- opportunity is small you cannot do anything about right yeah, uh, yeah. It, that's a separate issue altogether right. but more often than not I, I see the Indian entrepreneurs uh, approaching it with a lot of caution and very small thinking mm-hmm. pro- because probably you know they, uh, the uh, uh, that's where I believe that mentors and people who've done it before um, or um, operating partners like we hope to be can actually help sh- shape up that thinking a bit because the second part which is your solution and how you're going to execute mm-hmm. I mean you don't need to have data for the next five years of your business plan okay. but the reality is what's your exactly how are you thinking about the opportunity a year down the line two years when do you think the hockey stick you know is going to kick in in, in your business is it going to kick in after five years six years Maybe for some brands, it's, they're not going to. The market itself is going to get redefined right. by that time. Right. So you know, the, these are some thinkings where I think the lack of scalable thinking is mm-hmm. where I'm finding the biggest gap. Right. And the second gap that I'm finding is the blending of technology and distribution teams. Right. I'm finding really smart product companies, and I'm thinking, how are you going to make your first sales pitch? Hiring a salesperson is not going to cut it. I mean, you've right. got to have co-founding talent which is going to make the market for you, external market for you. Then I see really interesting uh, offline, um, uh, you know, let's say non-internet experience now saying, hey, internet distribution or mobile distribution is the cool way to go. But the co-founding team does not have a strong tech DNA. So I'm seeing that either there's, you know, distribution side and weak tech. So there are very few teams which are coming up with a very nice plan.